We would like to take this chance to uh, bring all of you along with us and let you see what Starliner looks like up here uh, on orbit, docked to the very front of Space Station. So come along with us. Okay, you're traveling down uh, PMA-2, which is uh, where the docking adapters are on the very front of Space Station, and now you're entering into Starliner. So welcome uh, to Starliner for the very first time ever uh, in space. Uh, here you can see Starliner, and uh, Rosie the Rocketeer is sitting over in the commander's seat. Along with uh, her zero-G indicator, Ker uh, Je Jebediah Kerbal. Uh, she's got a great view out uh, her window over there, uh, and then on the uh, crewed vehicles, we'll actually have three other, uh, two other seats in here, uh, and then lots of room for cargo as well. So we hope you enjoyed uh, touring Starliner with us today, and uh, with that, we'd like to hand it back to Houston. Thanks a lot for being here. <laughs> And we're getting a new view now. Uh, as you mentioned, Rebecca, four cameras inside uh, the Starliner spacecraft. We're now getting a view of uh, Cho Lindgren, Bob Hines, and Rosie the Rocketeer, uh, all in the same shot. Uh, you can even see the zero-G indicator there in the back. Rosie is definitely representative of the entire team that's been working toward this moment. Um, you know, Rosie's motto is, we can do it, and she definitely did it, and so did the Starliner. This uh, view of Rosie, you can see she's wearing a polka dotted um, mask and uh, bandana. And that was actually sewn by May Cryer. She was an original Rosie the Riveter um, for Boeing during World War II. So it's nice to see the fruits of her labor be able to go up to space too. <laughs> 